Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. Today we're going to begin to look at Psalm 118. Thanksgiving for the Lord's saving goodness. I'm going to read about the first 14 verses. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his loving kindness is everlasting. O let Israel say his loving kindness is everlasting. O let the house of Aaron say his loving kindness is everlasting. O let those who fear the Lord say his loving kindness is everlasting. From my distress I call upon the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is for me, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me, yes they surrounded me. In the name of the Lord I will surely cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They were extinguished as a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord I will surely cut them off. You pushed me violently so I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. <coughs> Excuse me. The psalm reminds us to give thanks to the Lord for his loving kindness is everlasting. And over and over again in the first few verses, we're reminded that God's loving kindness is everlasting. There's no limit to his grace and his mercy and his loving kindness. It's everlasting. So there should be no limit to the amount of praise that we bring to him day to day, every day and in eternity. O let those who fear the Lord say his loving kindness is everlasting. And then in verse 5, for my distress, I called upon the Lord. And the Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is for me. I will not fear what can man do to me. When the Lord is on our side, we don't have to fear anybody or anything. Nothing can ever separate us from his love. Once we are in Christ Jesus, we are there forever. Nothing can ever separate us from him. We don't need to fear. The Lord is for me. He's among those who help me. Therefore, I will look with satisfaction on my enemies. In the end, we will triumph. The Apostle Paul said we are more than conquerors. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Isn't that so true? If we put all of our trust and faith in man, then we will be disappointed. We will be let down because humans are humans. If we put our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, if we trust in God, we will never, ever be disappointed. He will never let us down. He will never fail us because God cannot fail. There is our assurance. There is our strength. His loving kindness is everlasting. He will never, ever fail us. So let's praise him right now. Let's thank him for his wonderful blessings. Let's thank him for everything that he gives to us. Lord God, Heavenly Father, as we start this new day, we do so with our eyes upon you. We come into your presence with thanksgiving, into your courts with praise. We thank you that your loving kindness is everlasting. We thank you that there is no limit to your amazing grace, love and mercy. We thank you, Lord, that it lasts forever. We want to praise you forever and we undertake that we will. Thank you that nothing can ever separate us from your love. Thank you that we are secure in Jesus. Thank you that you love us with an everlasting love. Lord, we know that people let us down, they disappoint us, but you never do. You are always faithful. You are always true. We thank you for that. We ask your blessing over this day. Lord, in our hearts we lift up before you all who have any need. We pray especially for those who are mourning right now. We think of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Lord, we pray that you would comfort her and strengthen her in her time of great loss. She is one of many, many, many thousands of people who are mourning every day, who are saying farewell to loved ones and relatives. It's the greatest pain that we feel in this life. We pray, Lord, that you would put your loving arms around all who are mourning, that you would comfort them, that you would strengthen them, that you would reassure them with your presence. Lord, we commit all to you. We pray for the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for somebody that doesn't know you yet, Lord, that this would be the day that they open their hearts to you, that this would be the day they turn to you in repentance and come to know you as their Lord and Saviour. 
Lord, we bless you, we praise you, we worship you, we glorify your name. We ask your blessing over this day. Take us by the hand and lead us. Let us honor you in everything that we say and do. And hear us now as we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we continue with this psalm, God willing.